So this is a video explaining the difference between a printer that homes to its minimum position on the X and Y versus a printer that homes to its maximum position. Uh, the machine I'm using to demonstrate the maximum position is the Ender 5 Plus. Um, so I have the printer started up and if I tell it to auto home you'll see that it's going to home and if you notice the gantry is going all the way back on this one, the Ender 5 is the same way and the head moves all the way to the right and it touches the end stops. Now I do have an ABL on here so that's why it went to the center but let me show you here again I'm just going to tell it to home X and now I'm going to tell it to home Y so now if we look at our printer's LCD screen it'll tell us the current position so you can see we're at 350 on X and Y and that's correct because this back corner, the back right corner, is 350. Now that means that, just like on all the other machines, this front left corner is 0, 0, so 0x, zero 0y. Zero Some people think that the firmware is inverted because they see it going to the back corner where it homes and they think that this position is 0, 0 just because that's where the printer homed, and that's not the case this printer homes to the maximum position. Now you could set up the firmware so that's zero zero but then your print would be backwards on your plate here meaning the front of the print would be facing the rear of the printer it's just not it doesn't make sense that way because that's not how these printers work. These home to their maximum position on X and Y. Some machines home just X to the max like the i3 mini here. This is a good example of one that has where one axis homes to minin and the other one homes to max. So if I tell this to auto home here, actually I'll just home X and Y because this is ABL. You'll see that this moves to the right, which is the maximum position. If I home Y, the bed moves back, which is the minimum position. Now if we go back to the main screen here, you'll see that Y is showing zero, whereas X is showing 125, because 125 millimeters is the maximum this printer can address on the X axis. And since it homes to max, its home position is actually 125 and zero. Whereas if we go to a printer that homes both to the minimum position, like this little I3 here, if I go to prepare home X, you'll see it moves to the left, and if I home Y, the bed moves all the way back. So this printer also homes to min on X and Y. So if I go back to the LCD screen here, and go to the main page, you'll see here X and Y are both showing zero. Now, there's also further things where if you have a printer that homes X and Y, but the nozzles off the bed, you might see a negative value for X and Y. Now, the important thing to remember is that on these printers, if your firmware is correctly set up, meaning the manufacturer, whoever did the firmware on your machine, the front left corner of your bed is always going to be X0, Y0, and the back right corner is going to be whatever the maximum printing area is on your machine. In this case, the back corner on this one is X200, Y200. And if this homed to max, meaning the bed came forward, and this moved to the right because that's where the end stops were, that's what it would show on the screen just like we see on the Ender 5 Plus. So again, these are the max positions. Now if I go and tell this to move to the zero, zero position, so if I go to move axes, or axis, and I go here, we see we have 350. So if I move this all the way to zero, you'll see here the head is moving to the left, to the zero position. And if I go to Y, you'll see the whole carriage comes forward because that's zero. So we got 350. If I go to zero on here, you'll see it comes forward. So there we go, we're at zero.
and you can see the nozzle is on the front left corner of the bed and my screen is telling me that I'm at zero. So hopefully this clarifies some confusion with these machines that do not home to the minimum position. Um, like I said, the Ender 5 and the 5 Plus both home to max and you can see their end stop switches. There's the X and there's the Y at the back. So when you have printers like this, that does not mean that just because this home's in that corner that that's your zero position. Your zero position is still over here and you can change it so it's flipped in the firmware so this is zero zero but the correct way to set up the firmware is that this front left corner when you're facing the front of the machine is always zero zero and that's how we set up our firmware because that's the correct practice to do when you're setting up firmware. So this is just something to look out for. Like I said, this is just more of an informational video to show you guys the different types of homing that printers have and hopefully making sense out of ones like this that home to the maximum position because I've seen a lot of people saying, well, the firmware is inverted. It, it's not. It's correctly set up. So if you have firmware or a manufacturer sends out firmware where the printer's homing to the max position and it thinks that that's the zero position, then that means that the manufacturer didn't know what they're doing or whoever set up the firmware didn't know what they were doing because this front left corner should always be zero, zero. Um, and one thing to touch on that people also get confused is when you have an ABL probe, you typically home the probe in the center of the bed, which also throws people off thinking that, well, because it homed in the center, now the, now the center of the bed is zero, zero. No, it's still the front left corner. It's always the front left corner if you have everything properly set up. And I'll show you. So you can see at home Z, and now if we look, this is where our nozzle is at. So the position you see on your LCD screen here when you have a probe and the firmware is correctly set up, uh, the feature where it homes in the center is called Z-Safe Homing. This is where your nozzle position is at. This is not where the probe is at. This is why we have probe offsets. So the probe offsets tell the printer where to move on X and Y to get this in the dead center of the bed, and that's how the firmware is set up. And the position on the LCD screen is the position of your nozzle, not the probe. So if we were to add the probe offsets to these numbers, this would be in the center of the bed, um, and that's where it's put the probe. So the probe should be in the center of the bed. If you have an ABL probe, whether you're using our Easy ABL or any other type of system, this is how you correctly set up firmware and this is how it should look. But again, regardless of where this is homing, where X and Y is homing, this front left corner is always X0, Z0, X0, Y0. It's always X0, Y0. So, and that's, like I said, assuming that whoever set up the firmware for your printer, whether it's you, another user, or the manufacturer, knew, knows what they're doing and did things correctly. So, that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip.